What's up YouTube? Super excited. I just got in the new Thermalark 186 AC-DC TIG welder with the foot control. There's the part number for you guys. Uh, haven't opened it up yet. Just waiting to do this video so let's uh, not waste any time. I'm going to dive right in. This is one big heavy box, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna throw this on the ground. Okay, let's try this again. Then styrofoam all around. Okay, this looks like the unit. This looks like our accessories. Let's take a look at our accessories first. That is heavy. Okay, start with some collets, some collet bodies, cups, and looks like three thorated tungstens in different sizes, if you guys could see those. Okay. There's the torch. It is a, I believe it's a Tyco, Tyco, however you say it, rated at 200 amps. There's a 26 style torch. There's the knob. Okay. Seems easy enough to use. Slide it on, slide it off. Doesn't look like there is an actual on off button. Tested. There's our connectors. Throw that on the side. We get a free thermal arc hit. Not bad. I'm just reaching in and grabbing, seeing what we got. Okay. Start with the ground clamp. First thing I notice is. This is a, let's see if I can hold the camera, let's compare it to the ones that Longevity, Hobart, Miller, everybody else has. Look at the cable on the inside. It's, um, I don't know what you call that, like a rib cable, almost. The name slips my mind, and this is more solid. So, that's the first thing I noticed, which isn't a bad thing. Actually, lots of spring tension. Okay, let's check out our stinger lead. This has got some tension to it. That'll hold that rod. Look in there, you can see the grooves. You could hold it at all different angles. Okay, argon hose. This is nice because this is probably, let's see, 5 millimeters. Doesn't say, but it's kind of a decent length hose. I wonder if it says on the box. I don't really see it, but it's got to be at least 10 feet. Anything else in this box? Oh, yeah. Let's check out our regulator. Okay. 
This thing's beefy. I like it. Colored for TIG, colored for MIG. Numbers are nice and big and easy to read. The control is huge. Just for comparison's sake, that's the one on the Miller Diversion. Gauges are the same size, the colors make it easier to read, and the uh, knob to control it is much, much nicer on this one. So, I actually can't wait to get this thing hooked up. Alright, one more box in here. Try and do this all one handed. What do you think it is? Yeah. There's the foot pedal. Okay, let's put this on the side real quick. We'll throw this box on the ground. And there it is. Plenty of length on the cable. Good size. Nice grip. Easy to push down. Not too much resistance. I like this size. You can get your whole foot on there and just rack it. This is uh, the style that some of the HTP or maybe all the HTP welders come with that I've seen. All right, let's get down to the, uh, the best of it. Sorry if the camera's shaking around. I'm just trying to keep my eye on everything. Okay. That is a huge manual, and there's a CD in between. We're going to have to take a look at that later. Let's check out the machine itself. If I haven't mentioned it already, this is a 230 machine only, 230 volts only. It will not run on 110. kind of a pain to get out of the box. And then I did notice something else in the box. Let's see what we got here. The cheat sheet. Some of it's in English. Look at that later. Okay, so here it is. Here is the machine. Decent sized machine. It's actually about the same size as my Miller Diversion 180. Um, about the same. A little bit shorter than the longevity. So let's take a look at what we got. Positive, negative, argon. Uh, we got a nice strap for carrying it because you would need it. This thing is pretty heavy. Your power cord um, seems to be one of the longer power cords I've seen, about 10 feet long. That sheet that came with it seems to be the same one that's on the top, the reference for your your amperage, your frequency, all that. Uh -oh. Check out the back. Okay, on and off. Gas, some vents for the fan. 
This thing was packaged really well. There's not a single scratch or anything on it. And this looks fantastic. Turn it around. So let's check out the front. You got your mode, your AC, your DC, your pulse, your purge. And then on this side, we got your lift arc, your high frequency TIG, your stick, your 2T and 4T, 2 touch and 4 touch. And then pre flow, hot arc, initial current, up slope, weld current, high current with frequency, low current, down slope, creator current, post flow, forward and backward. So everything feels feels really nice. It looks good. Let's um let's fire this thing up. Stay tuned for the next video. One more thing before letting you guys go. Uh, I was looking over the box to make sure I didn't miss anything and yes I did. We have extra parts here. We have a short back cap. That is the control for the torch. Actually it looks like there's about two of those in there. So nice that it comes with a couple extra parts. You don't really get that from many other manufacturers. If it isn't enough that this thing comes with a baseball hat and extra consumables and a bunch of cool stuff, every time I look at this box I always find something else. So I found the back cap and the torch control extras. Now I just found a couple rods of 6013 in the box. So this company really gives you everything except for a helmet to get started. All you would need is a helmet, some gloves, and a tank of argon. This is really impressive. I'm really happy with it so far and I haven't even turned it on yet. So, like I said, uh, check out my next video. It should be coming shortly. Thanks.